And today, well, it's been a little while, but I thought I would bring you along. Today's not really a fun day. It's a work day, but it's kind of fun. We're going for dinner afterwards as well. So let's go. I'm in a very sketchy alley. Hello. How did I get to the wrong side? Today's gonna be a chocolate day. We are at a chocolate factory. All right, we're sat down right here with- I'm a myth. we're Conspiracy Chocolate, we're chocolate makers. A lot of people know that chocolate is made of cacao, but that's just about it. And it's a really fascinating process. So we start with a pod, a pod that comes off of the tree. And that seed is the cacao bean. So those beans get fermented in the farm, just like with wine, it's very important to stick to the terroir, to the origin. Once the cacao has been fermented in these same conditions, it gets dried also in natural conditions. Then it arrives in Hong Kong, and the first thing we do to it after sorting it is roasting. If we take off the skin here, this is essentially 100% chocolate. And once these nibs have been stone grounded and aged, they have, will become chocolate once they're tempered. And what we're going to do today is see this process of how cacao becomes chocolate. Uh, these are cacao nibs and they're roasted and they're without the husk. From here we're going to turn them into chocolate by stone grinding. If we were to add, say, 25% of sugar into it, it would become 75% chocolate. After the grinding, the chocolate gets uh, ground into, normally by bigger grinders, into very big blocks of chocolate. And you can see Hedy over here chopping the block into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces were going to get mixed up melted and they will be tempered into chocolate bar, other chocolate creation. These layers of cacao butter of the white parts here, this cacao butter is separated from the cacao solids, the brown parts. And in tempering, the next stage, we're going to align them together in an even distribution. So you're going to temper chocolate uh, by hand. There's infinite ways to temper chocolate. We basically need to break all the existing crystals, build the ones we want, make sure we don't have the ones we don't want. Tools here are the two scrapers, this marble board sprayed in white with alcohol, bowl and a thermometer. Take, take up the chocolate, it's liquid, so it's gonna be messy, and recombine it back into the bowl. If it's 31 to 36, you're good. You're 33, so you're good too. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, a bit, bit more maybe. Okay. So I'm gonna... Yeah, spread it there. Am I supposed to chop it or am nope. I? Whee! Am now, I doing this right? Is there any yeah, advice? Now bring it together and measure the temperature. Oh, okay. I gotta measure the temperature. Okay. Whee! Mix, just like mix as you would mix anything. All right, Where's we're gonna make it. It's, it's not that upside down when you're cutting it, so it oh. doesn't go everywhere. Uh, okay, good tip. Good tip, huh? <laughs> Pun intended. How big? A big hole, so you can, one, yeah. yeah. Like that. Ah. Oh, I don't have a, there's a hole there. Yeah. Done? Yeah. Oh, wow, thank you. So let's just do um, a sprinkling. How about some like, Osmansis Bay? Also making a mess. All right, it's only even when it's machine made. Pardon? How long does it have to be in there for? 15 minutes. Bye bye. What? So we hand break them after molding as opposed to mold them in a perfect bar shape in the beginning. And look, it's so pretty, this one. Of course, because I didn't make it. And this is the packaging. Oh, cute. Look. And the inside has so much stuff, too. Ta da. My nice. very own. Okay. <laughs> and you can get their very own at their pop up store at IFC. Two and three. Go. Wow. They also have been to bar chocolate workshops. Several bad puns later. I need to be at Jordan by 1.30 and it's almost 1 already. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there first and see if I can grab lunch around there. I am now in Jordan. The reason why I'm here is because I have a new tour that's going to launch around West Kowloon, Jordan, Temple Street, and all the markets. And so we are gonna do a photo shoot for it today. Maybe I'll eat an egg waffle, because our first shoot are for egg waffles. All right, and we're here. Um, I don't know if I can disclose who this company is, but it's a media company, and they're helping me with the photo shoot. As you know, I do food tours in Hong Kong. Our signature one is in Wong Pawa, but it's more of an intermediate tour, and I was asked to do more of a Hong Kong basics, 
best eats, classics, icons, like more of like I would say a vanilla tour for if you're pressed for time, you want to come into Hong Kong, do all the must eats in about four, three to four hours or so and then get out. This is the tour for it and I think it's more for like maybe corporate travelers, business travelers or have little exposure to Hong Kong foods. This would be the tour for you. They're doing their product shots over there. We're we're just we're just eating. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Ta -ta. Last, Ta -ta. Oh, Ta -ta. Ta -ta. last last stop, last stop. <laughs> Look at him hard at work. Okay, so we're done the shoot and we're back at M and S because I needed coffee. <laughs> My day is not not yet ended but i'm gonna go and get a bubble tea and then we're gonna go and shoot everything's about shooting but this time we're not shooting me per se we are shooting the advent calendar um pre-sales will start this week Okay, what do you, what is it? Oh, they use a gai la, bun zai, got that me zhu pa you zi, kian pi gai. Yu ga hai. Ni gan me mo. Okay, they don't have the they don't have the fish jaw today. Mui choi yao yu hai a zeng yuk bing. You like yuk bing? She likes yuk bing. What are we? Oh, we're twenty. Casefy. Yeah. Did you know Casefy was a Hong Kong brand? I only found out when it was on a SCMP. I got the one with the gold. You know why? It's because I keep losing my phone. Abalone. You know, last time when I bought abalone and I cooked it myself, you know how hard it is to make it like white, like fluffy white? It's very hard to clean this dang thing. Mmm. Why well, is it chicken skin? Like you, I don't usually eat a chicken skin. It was really nice. Super fatty when you bite into it. There's a little bit of oil. Wow, it smells really yummy. But it's good. Mm. Oh, like for the seven day. Is it a procedure? Very homemade. Very homemade and not too oily. Chinese fusion, eh? Or like higher end Chinese food. Back again. So this is one of my faves. It's an almond tea with egg white. We're sharing. So we also went for the crazy one, which is Bird's Nest. That one was $28 and this is $88. Bird's Nest is, what is it called? Uh, what is it? Yin Wall. But it's like the, the, the saliva of the swallow which I believe is here. <laughs> Wait, it's good for you, but I don't remember why. <laughs> 